Hi, this is a review of the Rainbow Magnet View Film. In this video, I'm going to show you this newfangled type of Magnet View Film and show you that we can actually put it to good use uh, for measuring magnetic fields and getting a good account of the amperage of a magnet. I'm also going to show you some of the uh, dis drawbacks of this system, but let's begin by showing you what we have. What I have here is a newfangled MagnaView film. It is on top of a, a 2700 amp neodymium disc magnet. Okay, and what they give you is a card that shows you what the different colors mean in terms of Gauss. Now, one of the slight problems I have with this, this card is, it's a high quality card, I can tell you that because my cat jumped up on the table, spilled coffee all over it, and I was able to wipe off the coffee without smearing any of the print. So that means it's a high quality card. It didn't saturate any of the liquids from the coffee. But the problem I have here, if you can see, they, they, they specify blue and dark blue, but over here I see dark blue, light blue, darker blue, I mean medium blue and dark blue, uh, light blue again. And then they have dark green, green, and light green, but I see dark green here, but this kind of all looks like the same color to me here. Uh, maybe there's a slider band. So there's not really much um, that I can say we could do. The only place that looks like it has any interest over here is the bands between yellow and red. Okay, so, and then the other issue I have with this film, and so we're going to use the yellow and red to our advantage here. The other advantage I have is that depending on the viewing angle, the blue and the green will change. It actually, with a 3D, if you could see it in 3D, it looks like the blue and the green form a three-dimensional. It actually looks like, like the blue and the green form a cone, and the edge of the cone is the red and the yellow. So let me move the light around so you can see what I mean, that the blue and green will shift positions based on the illumination. So I'm going to move the light. Forgive me, it's all tangled here. Over to here. You can see the blue and the green now shift over to the bottom side. I'm going to move the light over to this side. And you can see the blue kind of follows the angle the light's coming from. So it's kind of hard to say exactly, you know, what the Gauss is when the, both the viewing angle and the illumination angle can change what you're seeing. Okay, but one thing you'll notice is the red and the yellow pretty much stay in place, which is nice. And that's what we're going to use to our advantage. Okay, because what they say here is they say that the red or the orange and the yellow, uh, the, the, the right between them is the boundary of 100 Gauss. So let's measure with, these are carbon fiber calipers, so they're not going to induce the wrath of the magnet. And we're going to measure the boundary the best we can between the yellow and the red. And that's coming out to be about 2.3 inches. Okay, now what I'm going to also do is I'm going to measure out to the extent of the red. And I can see the red all the way out to here. And that's coming to about 2.4 inches. I'll show you why in a moment. Okay. So again, so now, uh, the other problem I have here is you'll notice that right here, right where the edge is, you see this little yellow ring. It looks yellow. Now that can't be yellow because that would only be 100 Gauss, and right where that little yellow ring is is not 100 Gauss. I am very sure that's a very high magnetic field. Okay, matter of fact, you see that that ring span out? Okay, that is not 100 Gauss. Okay, it's this red and yellow outside of the blue. This red, this yellow inside the blue, or actually, you might even say it's inside the black. That's not defined in their thing. To me, that is the edge current. Now, let me show you what I mean from, if you watch my other videos about MagnaView film. Okay, you see... This is the edge current of the magnet. That's where the edge current is, where that, I'm going to call that white. Even though it's kind of like a yellow, I'm going to call it white so not as to confuse it with yellow because it's actually more toward white than the yellow is. Okay, so that part, that artifact is not defined in their key sheet there. 
Okay, but that is definitely the highest point of magnetism and it's always orthogonal to the edge current, just like it is with the regular magna view film. Okay, so that white trace outlines or follows or highlights the edge current of the magnet. Okay, granted, you could have other magnets that don't have their edges on the current, but the current goes through the magnet. Those would st still be the edge current. So what we're going to do is we've measured the yellow band, okay, and, the, and the, 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 the interface between the yellow band and the red band and on the outside of the red band. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use those measurements to see how accurate uh, this MagnaView film is with the known properties of this magnet. Okay, I'm reviewing the video I took with the talking hands demonstration area and I'm amazed from the camera's perspective it looks like the edges of the caliper are actually almost at the outside of the orange. Okay, from my perspective when I was viewing this it was right about here, right on the boundary of the red or the yellow and the orange. So it shows you just by your angle of view, even the orange and the yellow can change. Okay, but let me tell you, let me show you why I did that. Because we have, okay, I made this little software tool. And we put in the uh, dimensions of the magnets, 1.26 inches. And in, this would be the diameter of the magnet. Length doesn't matter in this case. That Those should have been uh, wiped out. Uh, the height is an eighth of an inch. And you can change these all to millimeters if you choose um, and put things in millimeters, but I use inches. I actually change between the two all the time. And this tool will become available shortly. Uh, there's no hole, and the width at the 100 gauss length was 2.3 inches. Okay, so with, with this tool, we can say compute the current of the magnet. So the, we have the magnet listed in our table as 2700. Let's see, based on the 100 gauss uh, location, okay, this computes it at 2100 amps, uh, which isn't bad for considering how, you know, twisted uh, it is to view. And matter of fact, the reason why I computed it at the 2400, or 2.4 at the outside of the orange is because I been, did this before and I knew the 2.4 would give us an answer much closer to our 2700 amps. Matter of fact, if I put 2.44 here, okay, that gets that's about you know so uh, the the film is kind of way off but that doesn't mean you couldn't put a you couldn't put a, uh, a scale factor on this tool and say hey you know if, you know let's see what that would be the scale factor so 2.44 divided by 2.3 so it's off by 6% as far as the distance goes. It's actually not too bad for a, a piece of cheap stuff, like, not cheap, inexpensive uh, tool like this. So in other words, whatever you measure, so if you take your 2.3 and you multiply it by 1.06, that, that would be the width you would put in to get the more accurate current. So 6% off for this, uh, that's not too bad. Okay, so um, that's where we could use this. So now instead of having to build a magnet table, okay, I also put in here that if you put a rectangular magnet in there, it'll compute that. I haven't tested this part yet, and I was also going to put in a, a, a graphic down here that would try to re repeat this pattern, the pattern you would see with the MagnaView film. Uh, I just ran out of time on that. Uh, but uh, the other thing you could do is if you had know your current magnet's current, you can tell it to compute what the uh, diameter would be where the 2600 where the 100 gauss distance would be and that comes to 2.4 2.466 inches again if you put it in millimeters it's 62 millimeters so uh, yeah this thing converts the units for you too so but it sometimes doesn't round everything perfectly so that's uh, my review of the MagnaView color film. It's kind of useful. Um, you can get the magnet currents, you know, if, so within 6%, within 10%. You know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, if you're interested in knowing where we are with the Ethereal Mechanics Project, there is the link to 
our current status on the Ethereum Mechanics project for those people that haven't seen the recent status. Thank you very much.